is Pascal Abel. I This is my 1983 uh, Volkswagen Rabbit GTI. Really fun car to drive. Handles great. Bought the car in 2005. I've had many motors in it, many, many style in it. You know, I've went through a lot. I'm running right now an ABF clone, uh, 2.1 liter, um, on Yamaha R1 bike carbs um, with 100 shot of nitrous. Motor should push around 250 right now, plus the nitrous. After years and years that, you know, many motors I had in it, always carbureted, uh, you know, I've done my share of tuning and, and I, I know what I'm doing, I think. So when I, I, I started to look for, for 15 by 10 wheels, the Watanabe banana came up and I was like, I have to have those wheels and that's why I went for them. I didn't care, I actually didn't choose the color. I, there, there, there was a guy selling them that color and I said, you know what, I like them. So I bought them. Well, uh, I have a side pipe exhaust that comes out of the, of the bumper. Then again, that's, that's just, you know, completely aesthetic. Uh, comes out of the side just for show uh, nothing in particular but you know the back bumper which I shaved the back bumper and I shaved the front bumper so I needed an exhaust I didn't want to scream it on the ground so I did a big hole on the side and uh, it came out right on the side straight up the hardest thing to do when you do a body kit like that uh, is to cut up the fender uh, because the thing is the car gets way wider the wheel comes out and it would come out on top of the arches so the front fender is fine but it's when you cut the back fender it's kind of heartbreaking you you take you take a break before you cut then you cut and then you take a moment and then you go what the hell am i doing but and then you put the body kit on it and you know all that trouble you went in and the, the anxiety you went through is is all it all paid off the fit mint I got lucky, I guess, because I ordered the wheel without knowing where they would sit, and uh, they actually sit perfectly. Uh, there's no cam, you know, I have camber plates in the front, but they don't do much um, because the wheel is so out. Back has no no camber; it's just a stock camber, uh, and it just fits all good. So the brakes, um, the front end is a full Mark III conversion, uh, this brake, and the back has uh, has you know high quality pads in them but the second you press on the brake the four the four wheel locks so it's 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 not a big deal you know so when i did the body the first time so 12 years ago i did the body i painted myself so technically the paint on it you know has a chip few things here and there but you know it's been holding for 12 years so you know i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty impressed with myself <laughs> um you know i had to change one door and that's that's a main thing the, the door is still beige inside um as a reminder where the, ca the car came from you know it's been through a lot and that's why I never wanted to paint the inside of that door because every time I open that door I remind myself you know that car was completely garbage when you got it got it out changed every panel on it sides you know rockers fenders floors front valance back valance everything has been changed on it and uh, and yeah it's just a uh, total reminder it's vicious looking it's I don't know it's it's one and it turns head and I can get more thumbs up in this car than if you drive a Ferrari I don't care if you don't like it I like it gives character <laughs>